So all right, this is the Redmi Note 10 and we got a new update of the Pixel OS after much awaited time from January to April right now and in this update we are getting some of the new things and some of the things had been removed. So let us see what is we are getting so far in this. So if you are new to this channel and watch is related to these, you must watch this video until the last and then decide to subscribe or not. Until then let's get started to the video. So first of all, let us start from the smoothness of this custom mouse. So I've been testing out from the much more time since it has been released two days after yesterday and the smoothness is quite pretty average, not so smooth this ROM is. And in terms of uh, taking customization, this ROM does not provide such more customizations. You already know that Pixel OS doesn't provide much more customization. The, I can give 4 out of 5 for the smoothness of this ROM. I haven't feel any stutter lag over the QS panel and everything now. Let us talk about the stability and performances of this ROM. So I have took some of the benchmark results. So first of all, let us see the safety net. So safety net status does pass al along with this custom ROM. The CTS profile is also been passed. So you are good to go for the banking apps also. And DRM L1 certification is also there. So Netflix content will be played full 1080 content. And now talking about the chain logs, what we are equipped right now from the latest 29 April build. So safety net passes now and fixed permission for al power of alarm. Some of the camera interface will be for the YLTE calls has been okay. The Wi-Fi calling is working fine within the video call sections also. And inert launch of vendor RAM disk. This is some technical things that everyone doesn't know. And increase auto brightness of light is also have been found out in this update so far. This is the Geekbench results that you all know about this. This is the single core result is also good about the 708 and the multi core result is seems to be good. Now this is the wildlife stress test that I have took so far and in this test my device gets a little bit of warmer side but overall that is good and those who are asking about the Google Photos is spoofing. So the pixel can back up unlimited photos at no extra cost. So this is the, all the stability part and of this custom ROM and benchmark section. Now let us dive about and talk about internet settings. So first of all, this is nothing new had been added in the network traffic indicator. You all know that the options is there and it is normal thing. So it's been working all around fine. I haven't checked that, but it is okay. The calling quality and call reception, there is no issues with that also. In the terms of Wi-Fi, I am getting my full Wi-Fi speeds over this. Now talking in the app section, we are getting the default apps. And in this update, we are getting the Pixel Launcher support over there. In the last of the updates, the launcher has been switched to Quickstep Launcher in other devices also. But in this update, it has been switched to Return Pixel Launcher. This is the battery option. And I am happy, quite happy with the battery usage. The battery usage seems to be good. I generally getting the 5 hours of SOT over this and this is the battery percentage option and kernel profiles and if i talk about the kernel profile this doesn't create any damn great performance normal performance can be opted from that uh, no me sound answer is being given in this custom room right now and normal settings were pulled down to this then the wallpaper and styles option we are getting the wallpaper palette and upgrade options is there five across five and font option is been available so far and the shapes one not lock screen shortcut has been given in that update in the terms of security we both face and fingerprint support is provided in this room so we are not getting any issues with the face and fingerprint security now if i generally talk in the system update the gestures option is there and nothing new customizations or anything been added. In the system update, we are getting system updated but in my advice, use the manual flashing method to avoid bugs and any type of lag so far. And this is the all about, about the phone section and this is currently based on Android 13 so far. And talking about the security patch, new security patch of 5th April has been added with the latest net kernels, Pixel OS kernel. Okay, if you want to get much more smoothness you can download the first course super fast kernel from my telegram channel as far as i can recommend so shall i recommend this custom room in my redmi note 10 yes i can recommend this custom room but not over the arrow OS because arrow OS does performs better than that with the net kernels kernel so i can't recommend but yeah if you love the pixel OS, then you can should try out this custom room so if you really didn't enjoy watching this video you must go and subscribe and also give a like to this video so, I will gonna meet you in the next video till then, bye bye.